Hi everyone, we're getting towards the end of all the pure stuff. So we're going out with a bang with this one. This is first order differential equations. This is proper hardcore. It uses all the integration that you've done so far. So it's roughly splits about four lessons, so we'll see how we do with it. Right, so bear with me. Right, okay. So that looks like a crazy looking equation there. But so does that. Now we're going to do first order differential equations, I think it says, doesn't it? All it means is I start off with something like that and I split it up and I integrate both sides. Now technically you've always done that. Say like we started off with dy by dx is 2x plus 1. You always wrote down the y, so that would be x squared plus x plus c. Now then, that is called a general solution. What's actually happened is that you've split it up, that you've had the y's on the left and the x on the right. So what you've actually done is dy, a 2x plus 1 dx, and what you've done is you've integrated both sides independently. So if I integrate 1 with respect to y, I get y. If I integrate 2x plus 1 with respect to x, I get that. So you have always, always done it. We just never told you that you were doing it. And then if you subbed in a coordinate and worked out what c was, you got a particular solution. So you've actually done this, but it's this bit here that you've not been aware of. So what does it say here then? Yeah, so actually that's that part there, isn't it, to solve it. So that's exactly what we've done. This bit here is what we've done. The, a general solution for it. So a general solution. And if I sub in the set of values and find C, it becomes a particular solution. So it's saying y is 10 and x is 2. So 10 is 2 squared plus 2 plus c. So that's 6. 4 is c. So y is x squared plus x plus 4. And that becomes a particular solution. Um, but like I say, the bit we're missing out on is this part here where we separate it. Now, if you're happy that the letter is called the variable, then I'm separating the variables. That's what I'm doing. That's what this process is about. Separating the variables. Out. The, okay. Right, so this one's fine because it's multiples. But this one's rubbish because it's not multiples. It's got to be times together so I can divide or split it up and divide it. Whereas the other one I can't, I can only take it away. So that's what that bottom of that page is on about. Right, so let's have a look then. Let's have a look at this example. Okay. So I want to split it. I've got y on the left, because that's on the top. X on the right, because that's on the bottom. So I'm going to take the y up here and the dx over there. So I'm going to have y dy is minus x dx. So that's separating the variables. That's separating the variables, splitting up the letters. And now all I do is stick an integration sign in front of it. There. So if I integrate y with respect to y, I get y squared over 2. If I differentiate minus x with respect to x, I get minus x squared over 2. Technically, I have constants on both sides. 
But because they're both numbers, if I combine them, I just have a constant on one side. Now I want to try to rearrange it ideally. Uh, have I missed an example? No? Okay, my pack looks slightly different to this. Um, so ideally I'd want the y equals, but the idea is that I get, well, no, here's the thing, the equations are too complex, so it's not always easy to get y. Right, so that's, that's, that's my general solution. General solution. Now I want the particular solution, so I'm going to sub in the coordinates. So a half of 2 squared is a half of minus 3 squared plus c. So I've got 4, so that's going to be 2. That's going to be 9 over 2 plus c. So I've got 2 minus 4 and a half. I've got minus 2 and a half. So minus 5 over 2 is c. So currently it's a half y squared is minus a half x squared minus 5 over 2. Now what it might say for this particular solution, it might say in the form y squared is some function of x. So if I just multiply through by 2, there you go. Job, job. All done. So it's quite nice that. So the idea that the equations might not look easy, but they are easy. All I do is split them up and integrate each side. Right, I'm going to stop that one there for these next couple of examples.